Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. We are here at the Beck Center, and we're talking today with artist Natasha Tarovsky and art collector and gallerist and dealer Paul Sykes. Thank you guys for meeting with us tonight. Yes, Hello, Tom. Hi. We're here in front of this new work, Natasha, that has just been installed by Paul here at the Beck Center. And this is your first time you've actually had a chance to see it in person, right? What do you think? I really like it. I think it's f I think it's the best so far. Yeah, but all the other ones worked well, but I think that's I think works the best. Yeah. So this is what the fourth uh, of your works that have been installed here at the Beck Center. We can swing around here and see w at least one other work and another work over Paul's shoulder here. When you put these together, you didn't know you were going to do all four uh, as a series, did you? Uh, no, uh, I was actually f just commissioned Beck Center, um, meeting at Beck. Uh, stage and uh, then Paul surprised me with Night at the Opera and that's kind of started the series. Then I was commissioned Marathon and uh, this actually came last. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so so they're, they're similar because they're all your style but they're really all about different things. This one is called Procession and I don't want to interpret it too much because you have a very surrealist style. There's a lot of symbolism involved. If you get up close you can see faces and, and strange things happening but I'm gonna ask your partner here Paul to interpret a little bit what you see in the work because you are you're the gallerist well, you know what's going on my favorite part of the painting of course is the conductor and the violinist over there in the upper left corner so Tom it's it's open to interpretation of everything the thing that really makes the piece fun is the peacock leading the way I mean what fun is that let's go to a parade there's the peacock, we're at the procession, it's a wonderful experience. This is all about creating the world's first outdoor wall museum, and it's uh, literally what we call thinking outside the box, if you will, bringing the paintings right out to the car traffic, to the buses, to the kids on bikes, and they can learn and observe and then get inspired to paint like Natasha Trowski, the great artist. <laughs> there are thousands and thousands of cars that pass by here, and more and more people on bikes, and more and more uh, people walking. What do you think, what kind of an effect do you think you're having on these people as they see this work? Because this is really pretty intense art. This is not billboard kind of one, two, three art. You've got to stop and look at this. Well, I hope they stop and look at this, <laughs> you know. Uh, well, if they just pass by, I hope they'll return. And uh, I think this painting, you need to look in details. And, and as Paul said, you, you interpret as you want. Uh, I'm just wondering how I will interpret and if I come back next year, you know, things change, the procession keeps going, so it, it's come back and uh, evolves, you know, so, uh, yeah, I think, I, I always like what the detail in itself becomes, it kind of works on its own and it works together. Thank you guys for taking time out here. It looks beautiful. Congratulations. I know you got a big reception tonight. Great to have you here from Montreal by way of Russia, by way of uh, you were all over the, the city today or this week while you were in town. Thanks for talking with us today. Thank oh, it's you always much. a pleasure. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.